The Pentagon is openly taking over our towns and cities covertly. It's so illegal. It's why we have posse comitatus. Look at the third world. The military is always taken over. And that doesn't mean the average military man or woman. The people running the system are crooks. Just like the Germans weren't bad people, but Hitler was bad. Their commanders, the Russians weren't bad people. Lenin and Stalin were bad. Henry VIII you know, was a bad guy, but the Brits weren't bad people. I mean, it, it's so elementary. Let's go to Jake and PA, then Nathan, Tony, Michael, Joe, and others. Jake, you're on the air. Hey, what's up? Worldwide transmission. All right. Well, uh, basically, I wanted to make a point about the mosque at Ground Zero. I do believe people are misinterpreting what's going on there. You want to hear my uh, take on it? Well, I have the absolute take. By the way, did you guys print that link uh, that I was telling you about uh, from the um, from the mosque's website itself, where they where they say their number one funder is actually not the Fox News owner. He's a big one, uh, but that it's the Rockefeller Foundation. So we 100% now know what this is, and that's a big story. I meant to get to it. Go ahead. Well, that's a part of it. Like, the people funding it is a part of the situation, but actually I do believe they're setting that up because they're engineering an assassination attempt on Obama so that, you know, they can implement their martial law. I agree. I said fight. nine months ago, I said nine months ago, I concur with you that Obama is one of the false flag cards they've got in their hip pocket. Go ahead. Exactly. And I believe that's why you're having all this Muslim, anti-Muslim fervor and conflict and tension rising. You know, you have Fox coming out with the poll that 20% of people think, you know, U.S. citizens think Obama's a Muslim he was born in a Muslim country. They're basically painting him as, you know, your poster boy Muslim so that when they have a CIA front militia group, uh, you know, try to assassinate him. Bingo. You know, they could, yeah, they could pin it on a militia group and then, you know, they could implement their martial law, try to confiscate guns and whatnot. And well, I hold on. Another... I'm going to hold you over and give you the floor. I'm going to put you on hold because I want to cover this now. I don't want people to get this video out to everyone off of PrisonPlanet.tv or the radio simulcast. I want you to recap everything you're saying when we come back, but I don't want to cut you short now. We'll put it back on screen. There is the Imam's International Philanthropic Organization. Number one funder, Carnegie Corporation of New York. Number two, Rockefeller Brothers. Number three, Rockefeller Philanthropy. Uh, number four, Rockefeller Brothers Fund. Now... I went and looked at that last night and added up the amounts they say they've given. So when I say Rockefeller's number one, if you add the three together, it's bigger than the Carnegie Corporation for New York. And in the 40s and 70s, they had congressional hearings that we've read the quotes from here of the tax-free foundations. Just search the term congressional and Senate investigations of tax-free foundations. They got their minutes. They said, we're going to set up a world government. We're going to finance World War I and World War II. We're going to buy off the churches with the World Council of Churches. We're going to buy off the Muslims. We're going to buy off the Hindus. And we're going to secretly finance them murdering each other. And then we'll be the arbiter. We'll be the referee of all of this, posing as the people that are liberal and want peace. And the Carnegie Endowment said, contrary to stopping war, our, our endowment for peace, we will, pro we will be the progenitors of war because war is the health of the state. This is our full-spectrum dominance control system by playing all sides. And so, yes... And this imam may not even know how he's being played. He's CFR, Trilateral Commission, New World Order, Fox News is involved, playing all sides. Stay there, Jake. We're coming back to you. Then Nathan, Tony, Michael, Joe, and others, stay with us. Key intel. Let's continue with Jake and PA. If you just joined us, there's so much happening in this full-spectrum dominance, scientific dictatorship, central banking warfare model that we're fighting that I love taking calls because they bring up key issues, they bring up key ideas, uh, they give us key intel over and over again on the show about tyrannical things happening or good things that are happening around the world. We search engine it, we put it on screen, we simulcast the entire radio show every day at prisonplanet.tv in full living color so you can see what we're reading, see the videos we're talking about. You can experience it and live this ongoing education and awakening that I'm going through, that my crew's going through, that you're going through. It's an, a group experience and a symbiotic 
and is multifaceted, multivariate, and is interactive with us together. Now, he brought up something that I noticed going back two years ago before he even got elected, right, right before he got elected going into the election. It's almost two years in November, in a couple months, that they were building him up as a messianic God who would save everyone and end racism. But I knew the big tax-free foundations fund racism and social division. Tribalism is what the sociologists and anthropologists actually call it, the psych warfare chiefs. And that he would not deliver, he had the very same advisors, that he would actually accelerate the tyranny. Every president, it gets worse since Kennedy, since the full-spectrum coup happened. They were already in control, but they really took control then. They had their beachhead 1913 Federal Reserve Act. And that they would build him up, then destroy him uh, politically. Any time you criticize government-run health care, wars, torture, secret police, anything they're doing, you're a racist. They would invoke that. Anytime you disagree with any of his policies, and he's just a front man, a Harvard teleprompter reading lawyer, though, you know, smarter than Bush, the last puppet. And that they were building up to reinvoke Oklahoma City and the Patriot Movement and stage terror attacks to be blamed on us, including in that spectrum and claiming we're all white Al Qaeda and saying, if you don't like corrupt government, you, you uh, I saw a uh, CNN piece with Potok. And he was saying, a lot of black groups are becoming sovereign citizens and refusing to go through the system. Little do they know they're following a white supremacist ideology. Well, what does that have to do with it? This is, oh my gosh, black people are getting into this. And of course, there's a spectrum of sovereign citizen groups. There's people that are hardcore accurate and then kooks out there that are filing fake papers. But, but on this piece, they go, this one family fired, filed paperwork and stole a house. And then it went on to say, their house. I always hear, a woman has kidnapped a child. Amber alerts. Then it says, CPS ordered the woman to turn her child in, and she's disappeared. So they are always invoking this. And, and yes, uh, Obama better know that either an attempt at assassination, they've already primed the pump with some of these, or a real op where they kill him deader than a hammer, and it is going to be hellish. And it will cause race riots, no doubt. It will cause total false flag demonization of anybody that criticizes government. And they'll use him as the sacrificial lamb to ram through their entire agenda. So pray for Obama's safety. Pray for his safety every day. Because you've already seen, well, they said on the CNN piece, yeah, these people are cop killers, too. And then gave no evidence. Yeah, that Alex Jones, he supports cop killing. Mm-hmm. Saying the opposite, they, they just, they've got, they, they want to sick the government and the enforcers on us. And so, Jake, finish your point. Okay, well, basically, I don't believe Obama is a Muslim. I don't believe that he believes in God. I think he's one of these Illuminati, you know, shape shifting, devil worshiping sellouts i mean he's a puppet and i believe that's what he is but nonetheless he's a nihilistic front man who loves to party and use drugs he admits it and is bisexual and reads off teleprompters i mean they're, they're just worldly scum when you look at actual globalists at the top they are very pious and cult-like and focused and all of them give money to luciferian groups and they hate humanity and want to kill people uh, and, and, and Obama doesn't have those characteristics. He's a literal front man. But well, basically my point is they're starting to really focus on, you know, people's opinion of him being a Muslim. And with all this tension that they've raised between the Muslim and non-Muslim communities, they're setting up the perfect scenario to pull this type of staged event and, you know, blame it on a, militia group that's nothing but a cia front you but know, let's be clear if you're at a, a a a poker game with a card shark and he's got 10 cards in there ace of spades you name it it doesn't mean he's going to play the queen of diamonds you know this manchurian candidate it doesn't mean that or the queen of hearts it doesn't mean that just because it's in the sleeve just remember it's in the arsenal and it does clearly look like they are preparing that and are looking at green lighting it go ahead well that's basically my point with that and then you know if they did actually go through with it you know that would be the perfect excuse to have their martial law and confiscate guns and whatnot 
Now, the second point that I did want to make, another thing that I kind of see that the globalists did, and actually uh, Jesse Ventura did a conspiracy show on this on the Harp Weather uh, radio transmitter, and basically with Pakistan. Now, you had that general on a couple weeks ago, and he explained how, you know, the intel that, you know, many people are reporting was in the WikiLeaks uh, exposure, you know, was basically exposing the fact that our government has been working inside Pakistan to, you know, destabilize the country. And you burn well, Russia, you flood Pakistan, they can do it with the jet streams over the pole. The 1997 Army briefing with the Secretary of Defense, William Cohen, uh, April 28th, uh, 1997, he said, we have weather weapons and tectonic weapons. They have harp facilities everywhere. I have the director of harp on. He admitted they can even ignite the atmosphere. And, yes, they can also use weather weapons to terrify people to accept carbon taxes. Go ahead. Correct. Well, I do feel that, you know, it is kind of too much of a coincidence that right after the WikiLeaks exposure, exposure you do have the massive flooding in Pakistan. And why would they right? do that? Why would they do that? Well, to bankrupt them further to be under the control of the IMF and World Bank. Exactly, and not only that, but it furthers, de it furthers help in destabilizing the country, which makes it easier for them to try to overtake and take control well, of, because obviously they know... And by the way, that an they don't need HARP to cause flooding. With I've had the father of weather weapons on, declassified, Ben Livingston, with eight modern aircraft, he can make... You know, during the hurricane season, a mega hurricane or kill it or weaken it with aircraft. They can go in during the monsoon and hit them and hit them hard. They can do it outside their airspace, but we have aircraft all over their airspace. So they don't need to use their high tech weapons. They've got low tech cloud seeding. Well, that may be true. Well, I, in either way, I do feel, you know, these floods are being man manipulated. I don't believe it's just the natural course of reality. Um, in my experience with these New World Order people, because I have had direct experience with it, and I do know exactly what they're trying to do, I realize there's no such thing as coincidences, and I definitely think because their covert operations were exposed, well, now they got to hit them with an environmental operation. I hear you. i got to jump, though. A little, I need to get to other callers' good points. I understand their full-spectrum dominance so well from years of deep research that... I'll, I can lay there in bed at about midnight, think of something horrible, because I know their mind, like Hamid Ghul said, I read their mind, because I, I literally, that's what a good general does, is you put yourself in their place, you think like them. I can think of something horrible, go in and search it and find mainstream news, and it's almost always brand new, it's almost like because it's gone into the ether, because it's now being done, it's like four or five guys invented radio the same week and rolled it out in different parts of the world. Europe, the United States, other areas, because it's just that level of understanding. And it's the same thing. The most horrible things you can imagine, they're doing it. If you can think of it, they're doing it. And if they've got a weapon system, they're going to use it. These people are brazen, they're bold, they're aggressive, they're hyper-dominant. The most hyper-dominant thing you can do is kill your enemies. Wipe them out. Exterminate.